While the world remains fixated on electric vehicles, Toyota has quietly developed something revolutionary, a new engine that runs on water. Yes, you heard that right, water. With this breakthrough, Toyota could very well leave other automakers in the dust. So, how does this cutting-edge engine actually work? And what does Toyota have to say about their game-changing innovation? Let's dive in. Hey, if you're enjoying this so far don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. In a move that's left the auto industry stunned, Toyota has introduced a water-powered engine that could soon make electric cars seem like yesterday's news. Instead of relying on batteries, this engine uses water as fuel, converting it into hydrogen through a high-tech electrolysis process by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. It harnesses the energy released to power the vehicle, with only water vapor as an emission. This could be the ultimate solution to slashing harmful emissions and combating climate change and pollution. The significance of this engine lies not just in its clean output but in its ability to address the limitations of electric vehicles. Electric cars have zero emission operation, no doubt, but they rely heavily on lithium-ion batteries, which have their own set of environmental issues. The production and disposal of these batteries are resource-intensive and can be damaging to the environment. Toyota's water-powered engine solves these issues entirely. Instead of relying on batteries, it uses water which is a resource that is not only abundant but renewable. The electrolysis process that powers the engine can be driven by renewable energy sources like solar or wind, and this makes the entire system much more sustainable. During a recent meeting in Japan, Toyota's executive vice president and chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, revealed this new technology to the world. Nakajima said that Toyota is no longer trying to stay within the confines of car manufacturing but is expanding its vision to become a comprehensive mobility company. This means they are going to provide innovative transportation solutions that go beyond conventional vehicles. The water-powered engine is just a small part of this broader strategy. Nakajima was not alone in this bold proclamation. He was joined by Takeru Kato, who was leading Toyota's electric vehicle division, and Mitsumasa Yamagata who is heading up the hydrogen car team. Together, they are trying their best to change the way we travel with this brand new technology. Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell cars are already paving the way, using a chemical reaction between stored hydrogen and oxygen from the air to create electricity that powers the vehicle. The process is super efficient, requires minimal energy, and produces zero harmful byproducts. But Toyota's new water engine is on another level, by generating hydrogen as it is needed. The engine eliminates the need for bulky and heavy storage tanks, making the car lighter, more efficient, and safer to drive. This is a big deal because, unlike hydrogen, which needs high-pressure tanks that are heavy, expensive, and prone to leaks, water is much easier to store and does not come with any of those risks. It is clearly a game-changer, not just for small cars but for big trucks and even power plants. So, with Toyota's water engine on the horizon, we might just be looking at the future of transportation. It is safer, simpler, and more sustainable than anything else out there. But the real star of the show is hydrogen fuel cell technology. Toyota has been at this for decades, perfecting the process of turning hydrogen gas into electricity, with nothing but water vapor coming out of the tailpipe. This means there will be no nasty emissions, just clean energy. Toyota has filed for 5,000 patents as well, making sure they stay ahead in the race for a cleaner planet. The big milestone is their Mirai. This is the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell car. Launched in 2014, the Mirai's goal was to blend eco-friendliness with everyday practicality. With a range of over 300 miles and a quick 5-minute refuel, it is proof that you don't have to sacrifice convenience to go green. Toyota's commitment is not just about cars, though, they are also looking at hydrogen-powered buses, trucks, and even generators. They are serious about cutting down emissions across the board, making sure we all have a cleaner, greener future to look forward to. The hydrogen produced during this process is then used as fuel for the motor. The motor converts the electrical energy from the hydrogen into mechanical energy that drives the wheels. There is also a power control unit that manages the flow of electricity, ensuring that the motor gets just the right amount for smooth acceleration and efficient braking. During braking, the motor actually works in reverse converting kinetic energy back into electrical energy and storing it in the battery. This boosts efficiency and also enhances the driving experience by providing a smooth, responsive feel. However, electrolysis is not perfect. 
traditional systems are about 60 to 70 percent efficient, meaning that 30 to 40 percent of the energy is lost as heat. But don't worry, Toyota's advancements have pushed this efficiency closer to 80 percent. They have accomplished this by using better materials, more efficient catalysts, and optimized conditions. Once the hydrogen is produced, it is stored and later used in a fuel cell to generate electricity, which powers the car. Even though the combined efficiency of the electrolysis and fuel cell systems is around 40 to 50 percent, the high energy density of hydrogen means that these vehicles can still go the distance. In fact, hydrogen-powered cars typically offer a longer range than traditional battery electric vehicles. So, while the process might seem a bit complicated, the result is a highly efficient green energy solution that could change the way we think about driving. Now that they have revealed their water-based engine, what has Toyota planned for the future? Toyota is aiming to redefine the future of mobility altogether. Under their ambitious banner, let's change the future of cars. Toyota is trying to make the best use of hydrogen technology to make it a real competitor in the global energy market. Toyota revealed that they have plans to make hydrogen a commercially viable fuel across Europe, China, and North America by 2030. Toyota's vision includes a new hydrogen factory opening in July 2024. This facility will centralize the development, production, and sales of hydrogen fuel cells, making Toyota quicker and more agile in adapting to market needs. By localizing RD and production in key global markets, strengthening partnerships, and advancing next-gen fuel cell tech, Toyota plans to cut costs by up to 50%. The good news is that this will make hydrogen more accessible for everyone. Not just that, Toyota is also working on innovative ways to produce hydrogen more sustainably. They have decided to use biogas from chicken manure and food waste in Thailand. They are also exploring multi-hydrogen tank concepts to convert existing vehicles, which will make hydrogen an option across various vehicle types. With these creative ideas, Toyota has positioned itself as a leader in the push toward a hydrogen-powered future. The only question now is, will Toyota's new engine truly mark the end of electric cars? What do you think? Share your opinions with us in the comments below.